What's going on everybody? Travis with REC Garage and in this video we're going to be putting together a 2627T coupe for a friend of mine. Um, he actually gave me a bunch of these tools that I have so it's kind of a trade and it's going to be really fun. It's pretty much just mock-up and uh, light fabrication. You got to do a couple things, um, a bunch of things, but I think it's going to be fairly easy and very fun. So Let's go check out what we got. So to start off, this body is the cleanest probably Model T or Model A body I've ever seen. Um, I know it's not a Model A, but even I've never even seen a cleaner Model A. Uh, there's literally nothing. Original sub rails, look at how clean they are. Uh, everything is just immaculate. So that means we should cut it up. Deck lid, perfect. Everything's nice. So, as you can see, it's got an Olds motor. I uh, forget what trans, it's a Ford trans, probably from the 60s. It's getting a suicide front end. Put the spring over here somewhere. Right there. I think that's a 9 inch. I don't know rear ends. Whatever it is. I'm putting it in it. What else? Nothing really too crazy. It's just going to be low. So this is... i got to put the back up uh, one more inch. And that is going to be the ride height. So yeah. A uh, bunch of cool stuff. Uh, he's got a bunch of extra parts and stuff. Um... Buick drums. Uh, he's got this cool, cool Chris Craft boat steering wheel. I don't know if I'll get to that, but because he, he wants to do uh, cow steering also, cowl steering. So there's the box, a uh, little clamshell thing that sits on the side of the cowl, and uh, the what you call it pops out of it. steering arm and stuff uh, what do we got got these funky carbs with some cool Edmonds air cleaners on them I don't know it just you just got a bunch of parts here and I just got to figure it out uh, yeah that's pretty much it he gave me some more tools gave me a kick shrinker Finally got a kink shrink, kink, kink shrinker. Oh baby, kinky shrinky. No, kink, kick shrinker. It's an Eastwood unit. Um, we'll see how it does. We'll see how it does. It's gonna be better than what I got. And I can fit some deeper stuff in here. Um, what else? That's it, I gotta do some major modifications to the firewall um, that he said is the biggest thing that he wants to get done here uh, but I need to do a lot of things to get to that point
what's going on here? Where we at with the So I was drilling this, and of course, when I'm not recording, I break the bit. I think it's because it was telling me, you should have been recording, dummy. Alright, that's out. So I'm drilling the holes for rosettes now. Um, I don't know how, how big to make them. Anyway, we just need to. Should be 12?
got to bend these shock mounts up a little bit so the uh, bolt pattern for the frame is all the way in the frame. Right now, one's on the frame and one's below it, so you need to kind of bend it so the whole thing, so the whole thing's in there, you know? Duty. Hmm? You're on pipe duty. Yep. If this is what everyone says it is, the MVP, I can't even stop thinking about it. No, neither. Yes. I guess you did. You gotta watch out. Oh my god, that's why it smells. I didn't even notice. Do you feel heat? Not really. Okay. That's weird. <laughs> the flame isn't even like near my arm though. I don't know why it is. Alright. Wanna go? Yeah. Going. I think so. They get it almost vertical.
Yeah, so I just got a, uh, a big thick angle iron and a C-clamp, and that'll put some tension on your, uh, your spring there. I'm just trying to make sure my welds don't pop. My tacks, anyway, not my welds. All right, so I could probably put a couple more tacks on here, uh, but I had this little gusset with a hole in it um, just to kind of keep it from bending and tweaking. And this is pretty thick stuff. This is like three, three eighths plate. And I use the same for the, the gusset there. So we went the spring behind right in the center. Uh, so now I'll put it underneath the car again and we will see uh, where what we need to cut I think I need to cut some of the sub rails because I think these hit right on where the sub rails are so it's not ideal so I probably need to cut some of that out uh, so let's uh, let's put this under and see
So, as you saw, I was cutting the flange off of there for that reason. These uh, spring perches kind of get in the way. So, they are now, well, the sub rail is now out of the way. I can now kind of get this in place somehow. I think I'm going to put on jack stands maybe just above, just so the ties are off the ground. I uh, can get my angle set. Um, or put a jack sand under the rear spring right in the middle. Get the angle set and kind of leave it. Then I can figure out the frame hoop thing. I think I'm just literally going to go kind of up at an angle a tad. Tad of an angle and then kind of go in. Short piece and then back over. Uh, just so I can hang the uh, spring hanger over here.